never wanted to become an architect. My mother was. And I wanted to become a doctor. Uh, I met in LA Ettore Sozzas. And he said, come by whenever you want. So I stopped in Milano in 1978. And I'm still here, it's now 2011. The style of my work, very simple. I love the soul of the place when I do architecture and I love the soul of the brand when I do product design. My favorite field between architecture, product design, interior design, no, it's all the same. This is the Scuola di Milano. I, I tried to follow the lesson of Ettore Sozza and what they did was to do a coffee cup in the morning and a house in the afternoon. Why was Memphis a wow in the beginning? It was a hat. It was a fantastic chance to position yourself ahead of the time. It was anticipating several years of uh, sensoriality, of becoming free, and of working with colors, working with surfaces. That's why I think Memphis is still alive in my brain. Nothing really changed because you have to be always a little bit ahead. What I definitely learned is Memphis was too much ahead and now I try to learn how to position myself always a little bit forward. This was in year 2000 when I did a hotel in the mountain at 1600 meters. Uh, I tried to avoid uh, volumes, so it's completely integrated and you ca nearly can't see this building. It's called Vigilius and it's still alive. No. I'm, I'm in love with talking to young people, but I prefer to do it in the office and not in schools, because in the school bureaucracy eats you 80% of your energies and that's why it's so inefficient. My dream for the future, what I would love to design, I would love to design a church on top of a mountain. <laughs>